Hi, my name is Mark Lincoln. I'm Vice President of Quality and Operations for Trumo Cardiovascular Systems, headquartered out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. So TCVS is a wholly owned subsidiary of Trumo Corporation, about a $4 billion global medical device manufacturer. Our main focus is around cardiopulmonary bypass surgery, which is really open heart surgery. So all of our products used in conjunction really keep the patient alive during open heart surgery. We manufacture our products on three different manufacturing facilities across the United States. And really, of the thousand employees um, that walk through the TCVS door every day, our mission statement is that we help save a thousand lives every day by being the world's premier cardiovascular provider. You know, you can implement a ton of changes to drive compliance in, into your program, but I think if you don't take a holistic, kind of closed loop approach, what ends up happening is you build a lot of independent kind of modules that potentially don't talk to each other. Now that might be okay from an execution standpoint and even a compliance standpoint, uh, but I guarantee the end result will be a higher cost to do business in that structure. By utilizing CAMSTAR's uh, quality and MES platform, really it drives quality and compliance deeper in the organization and allows the operator to do what they do best, which is try to build that perfect product, while the system itself is monitoring the effectiveness behind the scenes. One of my goals for the organization is to really go beyond quality compliance and achieve quality excellence. I think CAMSTAR is a key enabler for us to get there. One of the things that it does is offers key process improvements along the way. Things like it'll offer visibility on the, on the product on the manufacturing floor, offers real-time feedback and hard stops in the manufacturing where it's needed to prevent defects from getting further on down the line. Our overall plan is to implement MES and quality within all three of our manufacturing facilities under the TCVS umbrella. Uh, we're currently live with one of our plants. We're in the execution and implementation phase with our second and hope to be going to our third within the next year or so. Uh, based on that results, I'm confident that that will ex actually expand outside of TCVS to the other manufacturing facilities under the Trumo umbrella. We've been live for about uh, two months at one of our facilities, but we've already seen some, some good results from the MES platform. And really to get a better feeling, um, before CAMSTAR, what we had to do, everything was manual. It was a very manual operation. Um, we do custom perfusion circuits for our perfusionists. So every work order is a different configuration. Um, and we really pushed a lot of the ownership and responsibility to the assemblers and the inspectors to find things like um, documentation errors or training errors or equipment not in calibration. And that really detracted from what they were doing, which was trying to build that, that perfect product. With CAMSTAR, that's all now automated. Um, it drives that visibility um, and hard stops into the process. Another example is because of the amount of paperwork that we generated and it was all manual, we actually had one to two full-time people. All they did was review all the paperwork before the product was released to stock. All that has gone away and that's driven into the manufacturing and part of the manufacturing process. If we discovered a component that had an issue or a supplier called us with a component and a lot number um, that was issued, we'd have to potentially recall a week or a month's worth of production because we couldn't kind of bracket that. With the full traceability that CAMSAR offers, we can get down to that specific component, you know, that specific lot number, which would greatly reduce the overall cost uh, to us from a recall standpoint. To me, I think the key is the more you can bring all of your systems into one cohesive system, I think the stronger you will be. And again, to drive the quality and compliance deeper into the, into the organi organization under one manufacturing system um, is key to future success. And I think as everyone is going to grow and expand internationally with more manufacturing facilities and potentially outsourcing more, having that one platform and that visibility across the whole supply chain is key to the success going forward. So I mean really the last comment I would have is, you know, don't wait, do it now.